Hello guys and welcome to Freebirds 2 and welcome to 75 day hard generative AI learning challenge and this is day 49 and in this video I will tell you how you can use the uh, Google Gemini large language model to build your own chatbots and we can build chatbots in less lines of code like as much as 5 to 10 only and you can integrate these kind of chatbots in all the kind of applications that you have on your websites on your products as well and do many more things with kind of chatbot to make it a domain specific as well okay let's get started and here you can see my kegel notebook is here and i have uploaded all the code in here and i can also uh, share this notebook in my youtube video description you can check that out as well and uh, here if you want to know about the Google Gemini architecture and parameter, you can watch this uh, video. And these are the like key features of the Gemini or the Gamma large language models. And now let's get started. The first thing is we just uh, install all the necessary libraries that we just need. And then we just try to get into the uh, hugging face hub because we need this secret uh, token to access that uh, Google Gamma model. Okay. Then once you can put this secret here then you can get it started I just build a kind of a chat template here like you and gamma and then I have this model ID and I load this gamma model in the quantized format as you can see I already configured the models quantization configuration so that my model will be load in a quantized format okay and here you can see the my model is completely loaded and downloaded in the kegels working directory okay okay so now I made this kind of a function here okay so the very first thing that we need that whenever a user input something okay that thing need to be tokenized and then that tokenized text is got into the our quantized model and then the output of that quantized model is decoded by the same tokenizer as well to give us the output okay so let us see that how we can do this we just start this function and it says hi hi hello gamma okay we just put this answer and then it generate the output and show it to us as you can see it started and here you can see it just say sure i would be happy to assist you with anything how you can assist today so i told him tell me about how many alpha bets in english okay so now see it generate response very faster after the first time loading okay now I can ask him how many models are in gamma okay so it can told me how many models are in there okay sorry I can provide the context as in how many models are in Google gamma LLM okay so now it can uh, answer in the same way that there are large language model including the it says it is not publicly disclosed because this gamma is trained on the data that is before the release of the gamma that's why it does not know if i can ask how many planets in the solar system then it can tell me there are eight planets seven dark planet and pluto okay so it can like like that you can like build it in that form you can uh, like ask it to generate a code as well generate a code in python for prime numbers from 1 to 100 okay it can also generate a code for you in the same manner as well as you can see it says the time plan to generating all prime numbers up to given time rating is this and but it does not give me the code because I use this complete large language model and that is instruction based large language model okay if I used in the code format that if I load the model in the 2b okay then it can generate it okay and here you can see I just start trying to load the model here let's just uh, load it just started to getting load okay okay so now the model is completely loaded so let's get started I just ask him to uh, give me python code to check if a number 
is prime or not okay so you see that it uh, does not give us the code output here uh, let me just uh, make it correct remove this and get the full response think then it will work uh, give me python code to check if a number is prime or not okay and uh, now we can see that yeah the pure code is here it gives the code okay I just uh, had it here the function about the split because I want the end kind of uh, uh, response from my chatbot but if you want to generate the code you can not use this kind of split by n as well okay and it can give you the code as well okay so now you can see that how you can use these kind of lilang models to build your own chatbots that that can do wonders like the chat gpt will do okay you can build your own apps by using the streamlit chainlit and many more kind of uh, uh front end frameworks as well okay so in our next video we'll talk about how you can fine tune this uh gemma models on a particular language i choose the punjabi language as well because i belong to punjab so i try to fine tune my gamma model on the punjabi language so that it can understand the punjabi very well okay we'll see in our uh, tomorrow's video so just be with it and if you want to know more about uh, prompt engineering generative ai large language models and machine learning you can watch the videos on youtube and you can read my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much